Having a down date followed by an update is a great way to add flexibility into your intermittent fasting schedule. If you're like me and you eat mostly one meal a day, having the variety of a down date and an update not only helps maybe for your weight loss goals, but it can also add a lot of variety and give you an intentional day where you eat more. And you could do this for Thanksgiving. You could do this for Christmas, for New Year's, Easter, any holiday, going to a friend's wedding, any event or day that you want to intentionally eat more, you can intentionally have a down day the day before and have it be part of your plan. No cheat days, no going off schedule. It's what you're planning to do. I'm Jackie. I've been OMAD intermittent fasting for the last four years. And even though I do one meal a day most days, I do like to sprinkle in alternate day fasting where I do a down day followed by an up day. And I think that by adding these in, not only do I get variety, but I get the benefit of longer fasts and I get the benefit of some longer eating windows. And altogether, it really helps me to have a schedule that I really look forward to and maintain the weight loss and health benefits. Now, tomorrow I have some fun planned and you'll see that in the update. And that is why I want a down day today. But in addition to that, I have a very busy day today, which makes it much easier to not plan a big meal or a big OMAD. I'm going to have a small 500 calorie meal. Okay, so this down day is going to be a real simple one. There's 100 calories in this chomp stick. It's jalapeno beef. I got that at Trader Joe's, but they're literally all over. I also got this at Trader Joe's, the berry medley freeze dried. I love having these on down days. It's crunch. It's sweet. It's a perfect way to get munch in, but this entire bag only has 120 calories. So we're at 220 with these. I also have this Kachari. They have a bunch of these different packs that are grains and spices, different Indian flavors. The whole packet of this is 210 calories. Quarter of this package of cauliflower rice from Aldi, or you could get the Trader Joe's, but it's only 20 calories. So I have 210 plus 20 calories. It's gonna be 230 calories on top of the 220 here. That's 450 calories, which leaves me the perfect amount to make an element hot chocolate. I'm gonna use a cup of the vanilla almond milk. I get this at Aldi, it's only 30 calories. And then any one of these, the chocolate mint, chocolate chai, or chocolate raspberry, is gonna have only five calories, but add a lot of flavor. And the chocolate chai is my favorite. And this video is actually sponsored by Element because on any down day, I always make sure I get Element electrolytes. This is actually really good, super flavorful. I've really enjoyed these Trader Joe packs. This is not the first one I've had, but it's the first time I've had this specific one. And then adding in the cauliflower rice bulks it up with very few extra calories. I see why people love chopsticks. I just dropped off my daughter at driver's training. I had my element to take on the go and it was the perfect sweet end to my eating window. Every single down day, I always make sure I add element. It has a thousand milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium. It doesn't have any junk or fillers that I don't need, just the items that I do need. And ever since adding electrolytes to my down days, I no longer suffer from the sore legs I used to get before I added electrolytes into my fasting routine. Right now, Element's offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. It's the perfect way to try eight of their flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. You can get yours by going to drinkelement.com slash fasting foodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Fasting Foodie. Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring this video. Now I can confidently finish out my down date and not worry about the sore leg. I'm getting some more coffee to finish my night with Elsie. Okay, I'm into my down day and yes, I'm fasting. I won't be eating this today, but I love soups the next day best. And I like to cook while I'm fasting because it's something to look forward to. I'm making a chicken sausage gumbo. It has okra, pepper, onion, garlic, seasonings. I'm so excited to make this and it's gonna be fun to do it while I'm fasting. And then tomorrow in my eating window, I can finish it with the seasoning, make my muffins and enjoy it. So I do enjoy on my down day making new foods, exciting foods. It's still fun even if I'm fasting. Ah. 
as I'm making this, it's smelling absolutely amazing. And yes, that could be tempting or make it hard, but the further that I fast, I don't see it as temptation. I actually have it as like an incentive and something to look forward to tomorrow. And having that point of view or that frame of reference makes it much easier. So I'm already excited about tomorrow's dinner and I'll happily fast them. Well, it's the night of the down day. I feel really good. My gumbo's made for tomorrow. Now I just have to make my cornbread. I'm going out to lunch with a friend and I very much look forward to my up day. The down day was enjoyable, so it doesn't even feel sacrificial. But tomorrow when I have my long day of eating, I get to do multiple events with food. I know I'm really gonna appreciate that I had the discipline of a down day and then I'll have the joy of the up day tomorrow too. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you then. Good morning, it's the up day. I just passed 18 hours. I got my 18 hours in and I'm about to have lunch. And then I'm going to meet a girlfriend to go painting. We were gonna have lunch together, but we decided to eat lunch at home instead and focus on the painting. So I have homemade tomato soup that I made last week. Before I freeze it, I'm getting one more lunch in with it. And then I cut up some cheese that I've been wanting to eat. Well, it's still good. And uh, this is gonna be a fabulous lunch, just at 18 and a half hours fasted. And let's see, it's 11.08 and I'm gonna have an entire update. I'm definitely eating dinner tonight. We're having a movie night at home. So it's gonna probably be, I'm guessing around a nine hour eating window, but we'll see together. First bite of the day. Mmm, so good. Now I'm at dinner. I've had a lot of fun. We've gone to the dog park. I went and painted the pottery. I've had some snacks in between my lunch and dinner, but now I'm having cornbread, which is just so good. And the chicken and andouille sausage gumbo. Really enjoying this. And I get to enjoy the gumbo that I spent so much time preparing last night. <music> Well, that was the end of the update. We had a movie night. I finished my eating window just shy of 10 hours long. I enjoyed it from start to finish. It didn't look like I imagined, but I still had the joy of having a longer eating window, fitting in lots of good things. And as a reminder, the things that I share aren't to give you a nutritional plan. It's to show you flexibility, to show you someone fitting in the things that I want into my life. I don't make my life fit fasting. I make fasting fit my life and I do it joyfully. And that's what I want to share with you. And if you want to see another example of that with seven days of OMAD, you can watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.